Yo ho ho, so today I'm going to be talking you through all the horror novels that I still have to read and really want to read and I'm being a bit sneaky with this because I'm hoping that you guys will also be able to give me some really good recommendations as to possible books that I should pick up because I'm gearing up to buy new books next month so I'm just like, <laughs> this, this video is really more for my benefit than it is for yours. So the first book that I really want to read that's been on my reading list for absolute years, like since I started this channel, is Birthday by Koji Suzuki. So this is the fourth installment in the Ring series and I read the Ring series back in 2012. It's like one of my all-time favourite horror series. It's one of my all-time favourite horror franchises. I just think it's great. Super spooky. I love it. And uh, Birthday centres around the women from the Ring series and the themes are birth and water and I've read Dark Water by Koji Suzuki and I absolutely loved it. I I know he can write like really great short story collections so um, I believe there's only three short stories in Birthday but it just kind of ties every everything in together and it really bothers me that I still haven't gotten to it after all these years and I'm thinking that I might possibly have to reread the Ring series now because even though I remember the majority of it I wouldn't really remember the names or the backgrounds of the characters and things like that so yeah that's one that I desperately need to get to. Next is one that I always think I've read and I always make the mistake of yeah I've read that and maybe that's why I haven't picked it up yet because I'm always getting it confused with the other book but it's Silence of the Lambs. I've never read Silence of the Lambs. I've read Red Dragon. I read that about four four or five years ago now and I really enjoyed that actually. I'd never seen the film adaptation to Red Dragon either so it was all fresh whereas I've seen The Silence of the Lambs multiple times and that's probably why I'm kind of confused about have I read it or have I not. But yeah uh, reading the Hannibal series is something that's been always on my to read list and I still haven't gotten around to completing it so maybe over the next while, <laughs> the next couple of years, <laughs> let's be real, um, I'll get to it. I think that's just something that you have to read as a horror enthusiast. Next is Exquisite Quarps by Poppy Z. Bright. So this book only came on my radar in the last two years or so and I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be a bit hard to read because I believe it's from the perspective of a serial killer and he's someone who has escaped um, conviction or prison and he's moved to another country and he's really going to hone in on his craft now and he ends up getting a partner, a partner in crime basically, and then together they target a specific woman who they believe is going to be the most perfect victim. It sounds like it's going to be quite dark. Uh, anything from the perspective of a serial killer or anything like that I always kind of struggle with because you know, it's not based in anything paranormal. These things kind of happen all the time. So it's really disturbing just to see how dark people's minds can get. And especially when you're in the mind of a serial killer. I don't know. I, I feel like that's why I've been kind of procrastinating on it. But I've heard nothing but great things about Poppy Z. Bright's work. And um, they definitely have a lot of other books that I'd be interested in reading. Next is Hell House by Richard Matheson. So I read I Am Legend years ago and really, really enjoyed it. That's always one book I always say, like, oh, I'd love to be able to reread it for the first time again. But Hell House, I believe, is actually currently either out of print or then it's just kind of hard to find at the moment. Um, hence why I haven't read it. I don't even believe my library actually has a, a copy of it in. But Hell House is about a house that some sort of horrible act happened in is either like a suicide or a murder or some something awful has happened and an investigator goes in and hires two mediums to try to figure out and put together the pieces of the history of what actually happened in this house and from the sounds of the synopsis it sounds like there's a lot darker things that are actually going on. I'm not necessarily drawn to ghost stories or anything like that but I am interested in like gothic horror and um, horror stories about houses that may possibly possess someone to do something insane, all that kind of stuff, very much into. So I'm really looking forward to trying to find a copy of Hell House to finally read one day. Next is The Terror by Dan Simmons. So I don't really read a lot of modern day horror. It's something that I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone with. It's kind of like I don't trust modern day horror. I always go for the classics, whether that's stuff written in the 60s, 70s and 80s or the 1700s, 1800s and stuff. So I typically don't really read a lot of horror that's been published in the last 30 years or so. But The Terror is something that I've always been somewhat interested in. It's about uh, an expedition to the Arctic Circle, I believe. And these men, 126 men get stranded on their ship and they have to put up with like the cold and food rations. And it basically sounds like 
you know, I mean, what do you expect to happen to a group of men who are stranded? They have no way of getting help. But I also believe that there's also a monster element to the story of like something's trying to invade onto the ship as well as just dealing with the reality of the situation. I think there's some sort of like a monster story that ties into it all together. Kind of sounds like a couple of those X-Files episodes that I used to enjoy, but also just the the setting of it, um, the fear of the unknown and the fact that they they are, it sounds like possibly like, you know, descent into madness sort of thing. Um, sounds like it's going to be my cup of tea. So I'm definitely really interested in checking that one out. Next is Ghost Stories by Peter Straub. So I have never read this and that might be a huge surprise to some people because it is a quintessential horror novel. It's always popping up on those lists of horror novels you need to read and I've never read it. So it's about a group of people who are in this society called the Chowder Society. And I believe that there's only like two members remaining because I think everyone else has kind of like died off. And um, now they're, they get together and they tell stories, but now they've shifted towards more of the paranormal side of things. I'm assuming based on what's happened. And um, they start telling these ghost stories, but some of the stories kind of become real. And I think these people end up kind of getting haunted in real life from the stories that they're telling or the stories just become real for them. Something along the lines of that. Like I said, I haven't read it. It's really hard to summarize books that you haven't read without sounding like a dumbass. <laughs> But yeah, I think it all ties in with a potential murder that has been committed um, and that's the reason why all these things are happening uh, or that they believe that they can get away from their past or something like that and their past comes back to haunt them. Something along the lines of that. So, you know, that sounds like my cup of tea. Next is The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. So I've never read any Clive Barker. I don't even believe I've seen the Hellraiser films, which the book went on to inspire. But it's about a couple who are having an affair and I don't know if it's like in one of their houses or if they're going into an abandoned house but they're having an affair in this house and the man Frank comes across this box and opens it and he he's basically himself and the woman he's having an affair with are transported through this like nether world into basically hell uh, from what I can tell and they summon these kind of demon things and Frank is ends up alone in a room and he has to have um He's just like not himself. It's kind of hard to explain. I've seen like the images from the film and stuff like that. He's, you know, his skin's off. He's all tied up. It's messed up looking. Like this book is meant to be really, really gory. And I don't really like reading gore that much. I don't really like the description of like just nasty stuff like that. I, I get really like about it, but I do love kind of reading it and watching it and stuff as much as I hate it. I like hate it in a good way. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be reading that this October, I believe. And um, it's just, it's going to be such a good time. I'm, I'm really hoping that it lives up to my expectations of it. So those are the horror novels that I can think of that I haven't read yet that I've been intending to read for years, but still haven't gotten around to. Let me know if you've read any of them. Let me know your recommendations. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.